What's up, Larry? Who's your boy, J-Lab, coming at you once again? Today, I'm going to give you 12 things I absolutely love about my 2022 Tesla Model X Plaid. So let's get it. J-Lab coming at you. All right, y'all. So obviously, I got the black exterior. That's one of my favorite colors on a, any car. So as you can see, I got three black beauties. And as you know, if you guys want to know you got that plaid, you got to have that plaid logo. That means it's killing everything in the game right now. Bugatti's everything. So if you ain't got that, you ain't got the plaid. Love the spoiler, the Tesla words, the T. Man, walk around, follow me, guys. Got the headlights. Man, just look at them. Matrix headlights. Got my teeth blacked out. Nice mirrors, everything. No door handles or anything like that. You see that all flush. Look how clean that look. See the Sentry cameras, all flush and clean looking, hidden. Just beautiful, the overall shape of this car. Man, it's look like a super SUV. And you guys gotta check out these 22 inch turbine wheels. You got 265s in the front. I mean, just look at the size of these wheels. It's beautiful, it has like a grant, like a metallic flake finish on it. You, I, you guys probably can't see it, but it's dark, like a real dark charcoal gray with the metallic flakes in it. And on the back, you have the 285s. Can't really tell from the camera how wide they are, but it's a, it's a 20 difference on the front and back. All right, you guys, the auto presenting uh, door feature. When you walk up, the door opens. I just love that feature. It's like having a butler come and open the door for you. As you can see, look at that. Look at that. And these Falcon wing doors. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> and this white leather interior with this six seat configuration with the bolstering. Man, this is some gorgeous seats. Mwah, just beautiful. Guys, this yoke, steering wheel, man, reminds me of so much of Knight Rider. I think this was a big drawing factor for me for the Model X, this steering wheel. You got the scrolling controls on the side. You got the turn signals, the horn, uh, the windshield wiper, um, Siri, you could talk to Siri. Um, it, it speed control everything this they put this together th this play put this together Nicely, it's beautiful the design you see some people out there coming out with the design on it now They're starting to take cues from Tesla with the yoke steering wheel You guys this instrument cluster or display screen above the steering wheel, what you want to call it whatever it displays stop signs vehicles on the side of you trucks uh dogs people walking dogs it's it's awesome it's like in gray gray um uh display but it's awesome it picks up every, everything around you so that's this is pretty awesome i haven't seen anything like this on a car yet this 17 inch massive infotainment center is is beautiful this place maps awesome you got the toy box arcade everything you want to do on this car is here I love this part of the car. When you get in, you just notice it. It's just eye-popping. It's beautiful. Tesla did a great job with it. I get a lot of reaction from people. At first, when they look at it, it's an unassuming look. They look at it, they're not really paying attention. But when them doors go up, people are like, oh, what is that? What, what, what is that? People run over, they want to take pictures, a video, whatever, because a lot of people still not up on Tesla, you know, not in looking it up and stuff like that. But when they see it, it just catches their eye. And then when they see the white interior, it's like, oh man, they just go crazy. And it's like a long conversational piece. And I'm happy to talk about that. The ride height, you can go from very low to very high. It's like having futuristic airbags. Look at that, the jack of all trades, baby. The performance of this baby, you guys watch videos, you know what this thing can do, it's like butter. 
it, it switches lanes smooth, it drives smooth, the ride is smooth, everything about it is smooth. It's the best driving car I have ever driven in my life and I stand behind that. And the number one thing why you get this car, drag strip mode. If you want to launch real fast, zero to 60 and 2.5, actually more like 2.3, you want to be killing everything out there, this is the car to get. Ain't nobody beating a Tesla in the drag strip mode. Mark my words on that. And stay tuned to another video. I'm going to do another video about that. All right, Live Crew, you know what J-Live about to do. Hit them streets. Please like and subscribe. J-Live out.